My name is Ed. Uh, I am a visual effects artist for film and animation as well as a cartoonist uh, working on the Adventures of Space Cat. Uh, and uh, we're going to be talking about drawing today, specifically drawing with uh, perspective and, and learning how to draw objects and environments from our imagination. We're going to be basing a lot of things off of this how to draw a book from Scott Robertson. Um, so here we go. So last time we were talking about the importance of uh, practicing drawing lines as simple as uh, using our whole arm to draw straight lines. We also talked about practicing uh, hitting our targets with by drawing two dots and trying to connect those. And also practicing longer controlled lines. As well as another experiment practice of hitting a line, hitting the center each time. And the reason we do this is to learn control over our pen and so that our pen can do what we intend it to do. Now, with one, with, uh, one point perspective, I'm gonna draw a horizon line. And if we want to draw a box here, the front faces of our box are gonna be parallel to that horizon line facing us. And this box is going to go off to what we call a vanishing point. This is our horizon line. This is our vanishing point. So this is pretty simple one point perspective, but it's going to show how important it is to practice these straight lines. Now you could use a ruler for this, but it's good practice to do as much as you can freehand because it will free you up in your drawing as we move forward. So here, the back edge of our cube box here. We can go in and up those lines. So what we've been doing is drawing a box that is front facing. So it's facing us, our eyes, the camera. But what if we have a box that's turned, right? So we're going to start getting into uh, three dimensions of space. So we're going to have our, uh, basically our X, Y, <laughs> X, Y, and Z spaces. So basically, if you remember, if you, uh, not to talk too much about math, but uh, if you have an X, Y coordinate system, you know, you've plotted points on a graph. Uh, Z or Z adds a third dimension coming out at you or further away from you. So here we have a horizon line. And here we have a box that we're going to want to draw. So this is the leading front edge of that box or cube. We're going to draw one side here. And let's say this other one is uh, a little longer. 
Now what we're going to do here is from this top point, we're going to extend, we're going to find our uh, vanishing points. So here we're going to extend this one all the way to the horizon line. Here. And do the same on the other side. These are our two vanishing points. And now for our leading edge here at the top point, we're gonna connect that to our right vanishing point. The same for the other side. And now we know how tall our cube is supposed to be at this point. And we can connect the rest. And now we have our cube in perspective. This is use of two vanishing points, two points of perspective for the left and right side of these facing cubes. And so I uh, would suggest you all practice these, uh, drawing these boxes. These, this idea is, is gonna be the foundation for everything we do moving forward. So it's important to practice and you can see right away why learning and practicing these straight lines is going to be helpful we all have room for improvement just keep going It's not good. Let me try that again. Always room for improvement. So, there we go. All right. So next, I want to talk a little bit about ellipses. So, ellipses are basically curves, uh, circles in perspective. So, we were to draw a rectangular box here and draw a circle inside here. This is going to be kind of rough. An ellipse is what happens when we have that circle in perspective. So as we draw objects, that are based off of circles. Say, for instance, this uh, deleter white here. As we move in perspective and see things at different angles, that circle are going to become uh, is going to become an ellipse. So these are going to be important for us to practice a lot. So uh, much like our lines, we want to develop is uh, smooth and clean a ellipse as possible. So we, what we want to avoid is doing this because this this is uh, might be helpful to kind of find the form but with a pen we're basically drawing several ellipses and it's very hard to know where our points are especially when we're drawing in perspective or designing things. So how we want to do this is uh, when we draw an ellipse and I still have lots of practice to do here uh, we want to take a look at, at what these are looking like so one thing is every ellipse has 
a minor axis, meaning it's a line that goes perpendicular down down the shortest edge, shortest uh, side of this ellipse, and it's always perpendicular to the longest edge. It's called the minor axis, and so. What we want to do actually when we practice drawing these is draw that minor axis and then practice the ellipse from there. So this one is a little fat on one side. Let's see if we can go again. We want to keep doing this. What you'll find is you'll probably have a, a way that you prefer to have your paper, and that that is okay. Just like with the lines, if you need to draw one from a totally different angle, you can always turn your paper and practice these ellipses. Now, another fun way to practice these is to actually draw Plane here in perspective. It doesn't have to be perfect. And we want to find the midpoint here. So this is about halfway through. And we're going to draw lines here. This is basically supposed to be about 90 degrees. We're going to draw and find our midpoint here. So this line will become our minor access to all these ellipses we're about to draw. So we can go in here and try to hit this ellipse inside. This. With this being our minor axis. So it's definitely tricky. But the more confident and the more we practice the, you know, we become more confident as we practice these more and more. So I want to encourage you all to do that. Another uh, kind of test for your lips, which is kind of fun, is uh, to draw your lips. And if we want to test if it's accurate, you can fold your paper on that line of the minor axis and uh, look at it through, it's not really going to work, but hold up a light against it and, and look through it and you can see if your two halves of your lips line up. That's uh, one way to kind of test yourself. But, So I'd recommend just fill a page with these as you practice, you get better and better. And this will really help as we move forward with other exercises. And of course ellipses can be different sizes. So what a lot of artists do is uh, they'll get your ellipse pretty close and then uh, if you're doing something more exacting you could get in a uh, in the ellipse template like this. And of course this one doesn't have a lot of sizes. The idea is as you're sketching along, you can make your lips, and then later on, you can find, use your template here to refine that ellipse in a final drawing. But as you're sketching and drawing, it's really great to practice the 
Cookies. Ellipsis. All right. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long. So I'll stop from there. So keep practicing your boxes in perspective. Practice drawing ellipses in your straight lines. And uh, we'll continue with the next one. All right. Have a great day. Keep drawing.